So Manny, welcome to Woking. What was it that attracted you to the club? Uh, thanks for the welcome. Um, I think that I know the gaffer from back in the day, he was my youth team coach at Brentford. So just the relationship there pretty much kind of attracted me to the club and obviously he knew me, trusted me as well. So kind of came in, um, trained, played a few games and, you know, I'm luckily I've been able to sign. You're an experienced National League and League Two player. Do you think this experience can help push the squad on from a great season last year? Yeah, I think so. You know, um, looking from afar, I saw how well you know working we're doing. Um, yeah, really good to get into the playoffs. Um, obviously, of course, unfortunately, weren't able to go further to Wembley and obviously beyond. But yeah, I think that you know my experience um, and my style of play can definitely you know help the team achieve our goals and you know do as best as we can. And you spent a brief period of time on loan here in 2015 in a side that chased the playoffs. What are your memories from that spell and what's changed since? Yeah, I remember I was, um, I think I might have been 20, 21 at the time. I was quite young. It was one of my yeah, early loans. It was really good uh, for me in terms of you know like understanding, learning in the men's game and men's football. I remember I was here for a short period of time. It might have been a month or two towards the end of the season. But yeah, it was really good for my development and yeah, coming back, I've seen the club change a lot, um, a lot around the place as well and stuff. And obviously the, the reputation and the stature of the club have grown as well, which is good now, like a, you know, established National League team. So yeah, hopefully we can, you know, do, you know, um, as well as we can in the future. You had a very successful time at local rivals of Russia. Are you looking forward to playing them and being on the other side of the derby this time? Um, yeah, it's interesting. So I played um, Aldershot not last year, the season before, which was the first time I played against them, um, which was yeah, a weird experience um, playing at that stadium um, on the other side and being in the away change room and whatnot. But I've done it before, so I'm going to be able to do it again for sure. And yeah, it'd be interesting being on the, obviously the other side of the rivalry and stuff as well. So, But those games are always fun, always enjoyable. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And you were sidelined for the entirety of last season. Do you think that makes you more determined to play as much as possible this year? Yeah, hundred um, percent. You know, I'm looking forward to playing as much games as I can this year. You know, look at it as last season, as you know, I've had a kind of a rest. You know, luckily been able to get back, and I'm feeling really good. So, all the games I miss, I'm trying to you know catch up and put them games back on for this season. So, yeah, I'm really optimistic, really enthusiastic, and you know, ready to go for this season. And you played against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge whilst you were at Chesterfield. How was that experience and who were you most impressed by in the day? Um, yeah, it was an amazing experience. Uh, definitely the best experience of my career. Being a Chelsea fan as well, it was literally like a, a dream come true. And uh, who I was most impressed by, definitely Kovacic. Um, that's who I was kind of marking on the day. If you can call it marking, I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was, you know, unreal just seeing the level of, you know, athlete they are, how good they are on the ball and, and all of that stuff. So it was just, yeah, it was really quite, um, fascinating to see it up close um, and yeah definitely an experience that will you know stick with me for the rest of my life. And you played with Jim Kellerman at Chesterfield and Aldershot, how many of the other squads have you played against or with? Uh, yeah me and Jim we've got a little thing going on I think, um, he followed me to Chesterfield and now I followed him to Woking so I think it's a little thing we're doing un unintentionally somehow but um, no, Jim's a really great guy, great character and a great player as well, obviously we both play midfield so um, I know how he plays, he knows how I play. I think our games complement each other as well. So, um, and I know he had a really good season last year. So yeah, I'm looking forward to playing with him um, and yeah, all the other lads as well. And finally, what can you expect, the fans expect from you, your play style, your um, attributes? Um, I like to say, um, you know, full throttle. Um, I say I'm good on the ball, I like to create as well, try and dictate the play. But yeah, mostly just work as hard as I can and um, yeah, just help the team achieve our goals. Cheers, mate. Thanks for your time. No problem, pal.